Hey there, my fellow designers and creatives. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video in my Lottie Files course for designers. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and learn about the Lottie viewer and what you can do after you have a Lottie animation, right? So um, this is basically the Lottie Files dashboard. This is basically your account. This is where you can hold everything. It's pretty much like an, any other dashboard, sort of like Google Drive, if you you know were to ask me. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select this sunglasses emoji animation that I had made in one of the videos. Uh, Mikhail, check that out if you haven't already. And we're gonna explore everything that is over here. Okay. So on the left side, you got these basic uh, dashboard and then you have public animations, all of that. But the ones that we see on the top and the right side are the most important one. Now, the first thing here is that Lottie Files has also considered collaboration as an aspect when creating this dashboard, right? So if you are a team, you have a bunch of members on your team, then all of you can work together in order to review these Lottie animations, right? So the first one is if you are, let's say, the motion designer on the team or the product designer who made the Lottie animation, you can actually come here and choose what it is. Is it in progress? Does it need review or is it approved, right? So let's say we go ahead and it says need review because the animation is done. Now, the next thing that you can do is you can click on this button where you can say test for animation on mobile. And what you have to do is just scan the Lottie animation over here uh, using your phone. And then it's going to go ahead and play this on your phone. Obviously, you need to download the Lottie Files app. Uh, so make sure to do that as well. Then you have the option to open an editor. Now I'm gonna show you what this is a little bit later in a different video, um, but L Lottie Editor basically allows you to customize the animation and change a couple of things here and there. And we're gonna look into that, uh, but not now. Um, then you, obviously you have the option to download and export. Now the most important thing here is that once you upload your uh, animation to the Lottie Files dashboard, you can actually go ahead and choose to export them in different file sizes, right? So the original one that we made was 21 KB, as you see over here. And the other one, the optimized one, which is 17.7. As you can see over here, it's 16% smaller. And this is basically uh, an optimized version. So you can actually download this as the optimized version because it has a lower file size. Now you can also choose to export it as a .lottie as well. And now this again totally depends on how you're working with your engineers and what file your engineers want. Depending on what they're using and where they're using uh, the Lottie animation, uh, it will depend on that. So make sure to um, have probably give them both if they want it. You can also create an optimized dot Lottie version, which becomes even smaller. So it's all the way from 21.2 to 3.2. All right. Then you can also choose to export it as any other format if you want for probably presentation purposes. So you want to put it in your prototype and things like that. So GIFs, MP4, MOV, WebM formats also are supported. Um, and obviously choose whatever size you want. All right. So that's about downloading and exporting. Then you can also share this. Um, so first of all, you can push this to public. And the moment you push this to public, it probably means that anybody can use this Lottie animation in their own product. This ends up getting a Creative Commons license. And with that, uh, you're probably giving the ability for everybody to go ahead and use the animation provided that they give you credits, all right? But if you want to share this with somebody in your team or somebody wants to see it or whatever it is, you can obviously turn it on. Um, you're gonna get the link to the specific anim Lottie animation. You can choose the option if they want to download it and just give them access or you can invite certain people. It's basically simple stuff that you see on pretty much any app. Okay. Then the next thing is you have the comments section here. This is pretty cool. Now, if you are a team, you can obviously use to mention your team members and you can just click on the animation any way you want. Uh, I'm going to click on over here and I'm going to say um, add a tongue, for example. Maybe that's something that I would do. I'm just going to click on comment and uh, that's going to come up over here. Uh, it's simple commenting features pretty much like you see in Figma, for example. All right, uh, then it gives you the information. It also shows you all the major five colors that were used in this animation. I'm not sure why you might need it, but it's still there. And all the uh, amount of layers, the file size, and all of that is gonna be over here. Okay, next we have this color palette section. Here in the color palettes, sometimes you might see that you might made an animation, but you wanna see how it looks with different colors. So what you can do is if you select any one of these, um, Lottie is automatically going to find the best colors for that particular animation and add that to your Lottie animation, right? Now, obviously it doesn't do it perfectly, uh, but overall it does do a pretty good job. Probably I would say like a 70 to 80% a good fit. We can try out other colors here as well. Uh, here we have five colors. So this looks also pretty nice and interesting, but as, as you can see, the eyes became sort of, you know, very red in nature. So 
that's looking weird. Uh, we can try with this, uh, or maybe even this. This looks pretty fun and interesting. Yeah, this looks a little bit of that alien feel. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset it. Now, what you can also do is create a new palette and you can create your own palette, right? And you can just keep adding as many colors as you want. Maybe that's your brand color. So you can add all your brand colors over here and then you can go ahead and apply them to that Lottie animation. Um, if let's say this Lottie animation was made by somebody who didn't have the brand colors. All right, so that's about um, color palettes, uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, next we have this thing called segments. Now to explain segments, I'm gonna actually go take another animation and, and I'm gonna explain it through that. It's gonna, cause it's much simpler. So I'm gonna select this animation that I had made before. And as you can see, it's a very simple animation, right? You've got these things that are bouncing and then suddenly it breaks and then, you know, all of them come together, right? It's a very simple and, you know, such a cute, simple, fun animation, right? Now. What I'm going to do here is if I come here to these segments, right? Let's try to picture what's happening. First of all, I'm going to delete all of these segments because we don't need it. And I'm going to start this from scratch. Now let's assume that this is a loading state, right? So when the app app is actually loading and it is fetching data from the backend, we want this animation to happen, right? So we want all of these animations to happen and we want this to keep looping again and again and again. And what we want to do is once the, app, once the app finishes loading or fetching the data, we want it to then break like this, right? So we want to explain that to the developer who's actually building this and adding the animation inside the code. So let me tell you what you need to do. So if you go ahead, you can add a new segment, all right? And uh, let me actually find the frame. So we want the looping animations to keep happening somewhere over here, right? To around 60 frames. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call this um, uh, fetching, or probably gonna call it fetching data, all right? And then I'm gonna make this to 60 frames, all right? So now what's gonna happen here is that if I go ahead and play this, you can see that it's going to loop only to six, the 60 frame mark, right? It's going to loop only to 60 frame. And this is when the data is being fetched from the backend to be loaded inside the app, whatever it could be like a form, it could be some image, it could be an animation or a video, it could be anything, right? And then from 61 to 120, right? So I'm gonna add another segment and then I'm gonna say, um, this is going to be, uh, this is probably weird that they should have put the segment below. Uh, it shouldn't have been on the top. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say uh, data fetched. All right. And this is going to be from 60 to 121. I'm going to say play once. All right. So now once the data is fetched, right, you can play this, all right. And you can see and if I play this again, you can see that the animation sort of explodes to show that the information has been received, right? So in this case, you can actually set up multiple segments for your animation and you can then explain to your developer how this works, right? Because the developer is going to take the Lottie animation, he's going to set a state for fetching data, he's going to set a state for data being fetched, and then what they're gonna do is they're gonna look at these frame numbers and they're going to say, until the data is being fetched, we want to loop the animation from zero frames to 60 frames. And once the data is fetched from the backend, we can go ahead and set it from 60 to 120 and make sure it just plays once and not loop, right? So this is a nice way for you to explain to your developers how this animation is supposed to function at a broader level. All right. Then we have the version history that you see over here. And as you can see, I've actually gone ahead and uploaded multiple versions of this. So you can take the same Lottie animation, maybe change a couple of animations, maybe change a couple of uh, values, shapes, or whatever it is. And you can actually get a version history and you can choose to download that version history or make sure that, you know, that particular version history is the latest version history, right? And you can obviously choose to download uh, that particular version or you can choose to restore it or whatever it is. Uh, it's very simple. Right, so it makes sure it tracks the version history of your animations because maybe during review processes you went ahead and made a couple of changes and you wanted to keep track of everything. All right, now the next thing we have is a handoff and embed. This is going to be very interesting. So if I turn this on, we're going to get this asset link. And in the previous video, I showed you how to import this into Framer. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to try something else where I'm going to show you how to import it into Notion, for example. So what you can do is you can come over here to the web embed. Now, if you are going to embed this on the web, you want to probably use this script. But if you're using it somewhere else, you want to choose the embed URL and you're going to copy that. And as you can see, you can embed that on pretty much any of these other platforms as well. So I'm going to copy the link over here and I'm going to come down to Notion 
Okay, so here I'm in Notion and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press Control V and I'm going to paste it, that link, and it's going to say, do you want to create a bookmark, dismiss or create embed? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say create embed. All right. So now what's going to happen is you can see that animation that is being played over here in Notion. And you can see you've got, you've got a couple of options over here. I'm not going to get into all of those, but this is what it is. So in case you're creating some sort of a documentation or you're trying to present it somewhere, you can embed this Lottie animation over here in Notion and a lot of other platforms, not just. OK, um, then we have a bounding box. So basically bounding box, it just shows you how big, how much big the animation uh, is. Um, it's just like a visual representation, nothing too fancy over here. You can go ahead and turn on transparency grid if you want to see if uh, how this would look on a transparent background. In this case, we actually have a white background, so um, it's not going to show transparency. But if I come here down here to the background color, I can choose reset. And uh, in this case, since the Lottie animation already has a background in build, we can't remove it. Uh, so that's the thing. But if you go ahead and choose a different color and you try to update, it doesn't really work again because this animation already has this white background inbuilt into the animation. All right. Um, then we can come down here to focus mode. Basically, focus mode goes ahead and sort of, uh, you know, removes all, everything else so that you can sort of focus in. Um, and then you have the option to zoom in or zoom out or, you know, whatever you need to do. Right. So we can come here to another one. Let's go back to the sunglasses emoji that we did. And here we can choose the background color and change that to black if you want. It looks pretty good. I'm going to reset that. You can go ahead and turn on transparency and you can see how this would look on a transparent background. Um, I'm going to also going to add the bounding boss so you, so you can actually see how big the animation is. I'm probably going to set this back to zero, uh, sorry, to 100%. Um, so there we go. I'm going to turn off bounding box and turn off transparency. And this is uh, what we have. So that's everything there is to know about the Lottie viewers. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And we'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.